You may recall when Lambert Airport was a TWA hub, and while Lambert isn't a hub for any carrier today, you should know, Lambert's busiest carrier considers SDL a main stop. I don't think they realize that St. Louis has more non-stop destinations than probably most cities outside of Chicago throughout the Midwest. More people pass through Lambert Airport than Austin, Houston, or San Antonio, Texas. That foot traffic receives a big boost from Southwest Airlines, which continues to expand service at Lambert Airport, where I'm talking to people who imagine a better St. Louis. Attention in the terminal. This is a gate change. Passengers at Lambert St. Louis International Airport are picking up the pace of their arrivals and departures at rates that have been on the rise since the Great Recession. So we haven't had a fly to uh, uh, Chicago as much or Baltimore to get connections. According to this 30-year history of yearly total passengers, the high was in 2000 at nearly 31 million passengers. That dropped nearly 60% to a low of more than 12.3 million passengers in 2010. However, as of last year, traffic had been on the uptick at more than 3.4%, more than 12,750,000 travelers. We're hitting about 70 nonstop destinations this summer. Lambert spokesman Jeff Lee says the more frequent flying is in large part fueled by the force of Southwest, which now handles more than half of Lambert's load and growing their operations here to where this summer there are over 100 flights. Southwest now flies 103 flights a day to 43 destinations. Southwest, American and Delta and the other carriers are now collectively responsible for 70 nonstop STL itineraries. People don't realize that's bigger than Kansas City, that's bigger than Oakland, that's bigger than Nashville, that's bigger than Dallas Love Field, that's bigger than Indianapolis. For the business community, having direct flights is, is really paramount. Sheila Sweeney is in the business of attracting, retaining, and growing business in St. Louis City and County. You know, businesses don't want to have to make that connection. Uh, you know, because it just takes time and time is money. Now Lambert is taking the time to work with partners such as Southwest to create more opportunities to fly coast to coast or across the pond. It's on our priority list to continue to see where we can maybe attract service across Atlantic. And I got a hold from numbers from January mm -hmm. through May of this year and Lambert is growing at a rate of more than 9% over last year. Now obviously St. Louis isn't going to have as many options as Miami, Atlanta or Chicago, sure. but when you compare it to similar sized cities and even some bigger cities, it's not bad. Good. I mean, you notice that even as a traveler using sure. that airport that there are more options, more flights yeah. and those direct flights. That's Love right. That. Yeah. And the customers are noticing that.